What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Voss Seed Knives Hedgehog. So this is in, of course, via the Lefty Passaround group and it is part of a package with two other top liner lock models from Voss Seed. Uh, if you guys caught yesterday's video, I talked a little bit about the uh, Raccoon with the top liner lock and then tomorrow's video will be my full review on the RS Chaos model from Voss Seed. Um, but yeah, so those are in all together. But today we're gonna talk about the Hedgehog and this thing is rad. Uh, it is a quirky little knife and I you know, was really, really excited to check it out. Uh, I had seen a lot of people on Instagram, you know, both just on my feed and in my group chat talking about it. Uh, and I just wanted to see what the hype was about and I, I really liked it. I think it's gonna be a pretty positive review. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna jump right into, you know, uh, materials. Uh, you guys can see this is rocking some black into micarta. Uh, has sort of a frag pattern going on here, but then it tapers off to be smooth micarta right there. Uh, you guys can see it has a back clipper. Uh, that is the top liner lock uh, actuator switch. So we'll say it works again like a button lock. Uh, you guys can see it has a filler tab. So it is a loop over style deep carry clip that is reversible, which is really nice. You have dual thumb studs there on the blade. You have a sheep's foot or one cliff style blade, nice fuller built in there. Um, Voss steed comes down to a thin edge, has a really deep, um, or I guess you can say tumbled stone wash right there. S35VM on the blade seal, really nice fuller, or uh, excuse me, choil. Uh, as far as milling or internal milling goes, there are two big pockets on both sides. Um, it's pretty lightweight. And actually, I feel like um, it's, it's, it's a little bit tough to balance because I feel like uh, the blade, like this end is definitely heavier than this end. Um, so it's been a little bit kind of weird to get used to as you've been, you know, fidgeting with it and stuff like that. But once you get used to it, uh, you know, it's a fidget monster. It works really well. Um, so those are the materials. A couple of quick specs for you guys. Uh, blade length is 2.99 inches. Overall length from tip to butt is 7.11 inches. Blade width is uh, excuse me 1.3 inches blade thickness is 0 0.13 inches it's a flat grind uh, they're calling this a modified sheep's foot so we'll go with that and then it comes in weighing 3.78 ounces so it is sub four ounces um which is great because i feel like if you're getting more than four ounces on a knife this size it might be a little heavy um now there are five different variations of this knife, I believe. Uh, there's currently only one, two available on Vossi's website, which I will leave a link to down below. Um, this version is sold out, um, but the other versions that uh, are currently available are the new aluminum version, which is just a black aluminum with a satin looks like. And then the uh, green micarta with a fully blacked out blade, blacked out hardware is also available. And then the other ones that are out of stock are a blue aluminum with a satin blade, a blue like G Gmascus, like a G10 Damascus um, with looks like a satin blade. And then a uh, orange aluminum with a blacked out blade and blacked out hardware are also out of stock. So again, I'll leave a link to it down below uh, to the whole collection where you guys are able to see you know different models and things like that. But as far as materials are going, you guys already know. Five out of five for the materials. Uh, next up, we are going to talk about aesthetic. Uh, now, I like I said earlier, I think this is a quirky little knife. Uh, it's it's not like blowing me away with how this knife looks, but I definitely like it. I really like the blade. Uh, you have a little bit of a kind of a ramp up here. It's almost like a little bit of a harpoon up top, and of course it drops off to the uh, modified sheep's foot. Uh, but I have really grown to appreciate this aesthetically from, you know, when I got it in uh, and watching different people talk about it. I think it's a good looking knife. Uh, you pretty much have a straight line up here. Uh, it kind of gives like strider vibes. If you if you were to like, kind of like, oh, I can't do it with my hand. If you were to like cut it off from like here, it kind of gives you strider vibes with how this handle is. At least it does to me. Um, or some of those custom PM2 uh, or Para 3 scales that are strider like. Uh, but then it tapers off here. You get a nice natural restriction point and you get a choil as well. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to go 4.5. I don't think it's a five out of five, you know, knockout for me, but it's also very good, you know, very, very 
again, quirky, but simple lines. And I really, really like that. So uh, next up, we're going to talk about action. Again, you get dual thumb studs, you get a fuller, and you get a back flipper, uh, as well as the top liner lock. You guys can see thumb studs work really well. It has a nice detent to it. Um, it doesn't, you know, from, from doing this, it doesn't feel like overly powerful, but it, you know, as you actuate it, it feels like it's very substantial. You guys can see reverse flick flying right out of there. Thumb flick also flying right out of there. You can slow roll it. Back flipper works really good. Uh, it's just, I mean, pretty much straight in line with the scale. So you just pop your finger up there, pull down, works very, very well. Uh, you can, of course, middle thick, middle thick, middle finger flick with the uh, fuller. You can thumb flick with the fuller, but it's a little bit more awkward. I definitely prefer just landing on that thumb stud and popping it out of there. But reverse flicking with the fuller uh, works pretty well. You can do it lefty very, very easily as well. Um, so all things considered having, you know, three ways of deploying the knife, because we'll go thumb studs, fuller, five, uh, four ways, one, two, three, four, four ways of deploying the knife. Um, so you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven ways to open this knife. Uh, that, I would say, puts it right in the fidget monster category, uh, and it, it works really well. Again, no blade play at all, super locked up, and you get that great dropping action with the uh, top liner lock, where it essentially works as a button lock. You just disengage it, and it drops right home. Just closing. Works like a compression lock. It's closing the, basically like a reversed liner lock so instead of having it down here you're having it up here and the button just acts like a compression lock closes it and that gives you that really beautiful uh, drop shot action so as far as action goes with the hedgehog we're back onto the five train five out of five for me uh, next up is acoustics it's good not blowing me away by any means i mean it sounds like a lot of other micarta knives that I've handled. Um, and that's, again, kind of the qualm with micarta is when you're, you know, trying to pick up acoustics and you're kind of picky about that. Uh, it just kind of dulls it, you know, dampens the sound. Um, but it's still very good. I would say it's above average. Um, I was considering giving it a 3.5, but I guess it is above average. So we're going to go four out of five on the acoustics. Uh, next up is Argos. The ergos in this knife are fantastic. The Hedgehog is an ergonomic monster, excuse me, uh, fits in the hand very, very well um, in multiple ways. So choked back, I can still get all four fingers in this knife. Um, I wouldn't say it's like the most comfortable grip in the world because you are kind of, your pinky's just kind of hanging on uh, for dear life back there. But overall, uh, it's very, very comfortable micarta. That frag adds a little bit of texturing for grippage whenever you are holding it, especially back here when, you know, most of your finger pads are kind of landed right there. Um, but everywhere else is nicely chamfered and rounded off and the micarta is high quality. Of course, you know, your thumb lands right here on the sort of poon area. A uh, nice little thumb ramp. Very, very comfortable. And then when you choke up, your middle finger goes here into the nice natural restriction point. Very, very comfortable. Rest of your fingers follow suit and your pointer finger wraps around the choil. And to me, this is the best way to hold this knife, um, whether your thumb is right there on the ramp or you put it out here if you're gonna be doing push cuts and you just need a little bit extra control um, through things like that. Very, very comfortable there. Um, and that gets you up off of the pot clip even more because it is a loop over style deep carry clip. So you're gonna have a little bit of you know, curvature right there, a little bit of might not necessarily be sharp, um, but just kind of an annoying uh, sort of edge if you have you know issues with that. You can feel the pot clip a little bit there, but then when you move up off of it, it uh, feels very, very good. And you guys can see it's out of the palm of my hand, so it's not you know causing that issue anymore, uh, but very, very comfortable, locked in. Uh, you can do you know saber grip um, both ways. You can do hammer grip, or excuse me, that uh, saber grip, Hammer grip both ways. Um, 
Yeah, Ergos are phenomenal, very, very comfortable, so I'm going to give it a five out of five. Next up is Carry. I stated earlier, this weighs 3.78 ounces, uh, but honestly, it does not feel like it weighs that much. Um, you know, in your pocket, drops down. You do have a flipper tab down here, but it is very, very minimalistic, and the jimping is, you know, not aggressive at all. So if you do go down past the Hedgehog to get chains, change, chapstick, coins, um, I guess change and coins are the same thing, medicine, anything that you have floating underneath the knife in your pocket, you do have a small risk of when you pull your hand up out of there, you might, you know, catch this on something and pull it with you. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, but I had no issues with it. I carry this in uh, khakis quite a bit and my bird dogs uh, and gym shorts a few times. And it carries well, you know what I mean? It's, it's so small, it basically um, almost disappears into my fist. It's very, very small, very compact, but yet so much is packed into it, um, which we'll talk about in my next category of course, a price point and, you know, what I recommend this knife, but carries really well. It's nice that it has a, an ambidextrous pot clip, so you can switch it lefty or righty, which is really, really nice uh, for those lefties out there. Um, so really no no true complaints at all. I mean, it's, again, it's so compact, it just kind of slides in there and it is uh, good to go until you need it. So uh, again, no complaints at all with the carryability of this knife. I'm going to give it a five out of five. Lastly is price point slash value slash would I recommend this knife. So the price point on the Fossey Knives Hedgehog on the uh, Micarta versions are $129. The two aluminum, excuse me, three aluminum versions are $139, so 10 more dollars, which I think is very fair for aluminum scales versus Micarta. Um, I think $130 bucks is, you know, a good price for this knife. You're going to S35 VN, you're getting really nice Micarta. Loop over style deep carry clip, uh, seven ways of deploying the knife with the flipper, the thumb studs on both sides, the fuller on both sides, as well as the uh, top liner lock right there. So I think 130 bucks. And you know, if you can find it on someone's site like White Mountain Knives, you can of course save 10%. Um, Vossi does a lot of sales when they're getting, you know, a lot of new inventory in and they kind of need to clear some of their old inventory. Uh, they do a lot of sales where you can get, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50% off, whatever it may be. Um, so that's why I'm leaving a link to their website. But I, I think if you guys are a fan of how this knife looks, you're going to love it because uh, it really is a little fidget monster. Um, great ergonomics, you know, great cutting ability with that beautiful, very, very usable blade shape. Uh, you guys know I love any sort of worn cliff slash sheep's foot slash modified sheep's foot blade shapes. Uh, and this is really, really good. Again, super comfortable. You know, you can just sit here and flick and fidget and drop and, you know, do everything to your heart's content with a hedgehog. And it does it well. It really does. So basically it comes down to if you are a fan of how this knife looks, you know, aesthetically, uh, I think you're going to like it. And I can absolutely recommend it. It's a great boss seed. Um, you know, I think value is good. I'm not going to say it's, you know, the best out there, but I really have no issues with it. Um... I'm going to give it a 4.5 with the value. I feel like maybe you could have gotten a little bit closer to a hundred bucks, but I'm, I'm not mad about it. It's just one of those where I don't think it's necessarily the best value. So, um, but yeah, let me count this up real quick for you guys. All right, you guys, the Vossi Knives Hedgehog coming in of a score of 33, which lands it in the Fantastic category. Uh, that is one point lower than the Vossi Raccoon that I reviewed earlier this year in February. Um, let's see. It is tying the Vossi Ankylo with 34. Uh, the Vossi Dachshund is still my only perfect knife of the year, uh, 35 out of 35. Uh, any other 34s? The Thornton, the, excuse me, the Vosti Thornton was a 33.5. Uh, the Taloris was a 33. Uh, yeah. Any other ones that I, the, the Mini Nightshade was a, yeah. So it lands in the same category as the, uh, what did I just say? The, the Taloris, the Thornton, the Ankylo, and the Raccoon. 
are all landing in the fantastic category. So that shows you how much I really do appreciate and like Vosteed's designs uh, in their, you know, their quality, their fit and finish is really top notch, especially for the price you're paying. Um, and the, the Hedgehog is a worthy addition to, you know, Vosteed's lineup. And I definitely, uh, you know, grew to really like this knife. And I think the review shows it. So uh, drop a comment down below. Did any of you guys pick up the Hedgehog when it first came out? Uh, you know, or you may be wanting to pick one up soon. Um, as always, I would love to hear what you guys have to say, but I'm going to wrap this up now. So this was my full review on the Vosteed Knives Hedgehog. Um, just a beautiful little, little monster, little, little fidget monster, little, just beast of a knife, guys. Um, really, really great knife. So, um, but I'm going to wrap this up now. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning evening, day, night, whenever you guys are watching this, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.